The Russian army suffered significant losses during the hostilities at the front. Ukrainian soldiers are successfully defending their positions on various front lines. During September 19, the defense forces of Ukraine eliminated 1,340 Russian invaders. In addition, they managed to destroy 39 troop-carrying AFVs, 35 artillery systems and 20 tanks of the enemy. The general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces said this. During the past day, 163 combat clashes took place between the Ukrainian defenders and the Russian occupiers. The Russian army carried out 61 airstrikes on the territory of Ukraine, dropping 88 anti-aircraft missiles. Moreover, the enemy used 587 kamikaze drones and fired more than 3,500 attacks on the positions of our troops and populated areas. In the Kharkiv direction, they tried to break through three times near Vovchansk and Taiki. In the Kupyan direction, 11 assaults by the Russian army were recorded, two of which are still ongoing. Ukrainian soldiers had to stop the enemy's offensive 28 times in the Lyman direction, in the Siversky direction, the enemy also suffered a setback during combat clashes near Verkhnyo Kamiansky, Ivano Deryivka, and Vyimka. There were seven attacks, in the Kramatorsk direction, the enemy made two unsuccessful attempts to advance, in the Toritsk direction, the Russians attacked the defense forces of Ukraine 12 times near Toritsk, Sherbanivka, and Nelopivka. It is still extremely difficult in the Pokrovsky direction, because there the Russian invaders tried 36 times to break through the defense of our armed forces. It is the hottest today in the Karakiv direction. The enemy, supported by aviation, attacked Ukrainian forces 49 times. There is still a lot of fighting going on there. In the Vremov direction, the invaders made five breakthrough attempts, in the Orichiv direction, the enemy is also trying to advance, but without success. In the Dnieper direction, the Russians were defeated, attacking the defensive lines of the Ukrainian defenders. Russian counterattack in Kursk region has been stopped, Alexei Dmitryshkovsky, a spokesman from Ukraine's military administration set up in the area said on Wednesday. They tried to attack from the flanks, but they were stopped there, Dmitryshkovsky said, adding that, the situation was stabilized and today everything is under control, they are not successful. However, Dmitryshkovsky admitted, some minor success, by Moscow. The Russians entered one of the settlements. They started fighting for another settlement, but that was it, the Ukrainian military official said. Dmitryshkovsky also claimed that Russian strikes on the area as it tries to re-seize the land have killed 23 civilians since the end of August, saying they are dying with the Ukrainian military. Furthermore, the official said that there were more than 500 Russian civilians in some settlements in Kursk region. Norsar, the Norwegian seismic array, detected 17 seismic events near Toropets, Tver Oblast, Russia, between 3.30 and 9 o'clock Moscow time on September 18. The strongest tremor registered a magnitude of 2.5. Norsar, which has previously analyzed seismic data related to the war in Ukraine, continues to investigate the cause of these events. Ukrainian special services claim their drone struck a major ammunition depot in Toropets that night. They allege the facility housed North Korean ballistic missiles, Iskander ballistic missiles, guided bombs, and artillery shells. Social media footage purportedly from Toropets shows significant explosions. Russian authorities, however, only reported a fire and injuries from falling UAV debris, without mentioning explosions. Years earlier, Russian state media had reported the construction of a modern arsenal for missiles and explosives in Toropets. Recall, Ukrainian drones successfully attacked the so-called 107th GRAU arsenal annexed to Toropets town in Russia's Tver Oblast 480 km north of Ukraine. The GRAU stands for the Main Missile and Artillery Directorate of the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation. 
A source from the security service of Ukraine told several Ukrainian media that drones were operated by Ukraine security service, military intelligence, and special operations forces, and targeted the site containing missiles for Iskander and Tochka-U systems, guided KAB bombs, and artillery ammunition. The security service, together with its colleagues from the defense forces, continues to methodically reduce the enemy's missile potential, which it uses to destroy Ukrainian cities. We are working further to organize a similar picture at other Russian military facilities working for the war against Ukraine, the source said, according to public broadcaster Suspilm.